Hail and well met everyone, Captain Deadeye is back with you with more World of Warcraft Classic and our Hardcore Troll Mage. Hope everyone is doing well today, thank you so much for clicking on the video and spending a few moments of your day with me. Uh, we are in the crossroads and the first thing I want to do this morning is we're actually going to fly back over to Orgrimmar because we need to train our level 16 skills and then uh, we'll make our way back here. Uh, I just opened up uh, the bank, and, or excuse me, the uh, mail and everything we put on the auction house yesterday sold, so that was nice. My wind riders are trained to fly quickly through the hot barrens. See, air. it wasn't a ton of gold, but or a ton of money, but we did get some silver, so that was good out of that. All right, let's see. Um, I did put another point into improve Frost Nova, so we finished that off. And then next, I think we'll do. I think Frostbite is next, if I'm not mistaken. I have to look at my list. And let's see. Let's go over to my immersion tab so we don't have to read guild text all the time. We'll start the quest here, I think, for the first, next couple of episodes, and I want to make my way back over to um, work on the mage quest over here in um, Silver Pine Forest. We definitely want to do that. You know what? I may actually... Hmm... I'm debating on whether we should do that this morning, first thing. Knock out that mage quest, because... That way, it's already level 15, we're level 16 now. Those guys are all like level 14, 15 in the, um, in the Dalaran area. In Amber Mill. Hmm. It might be a good idea to go ahead and finish that up first thing this morning. That way we can get a new robe out of it. Alright, I'm calling Audible. Let's go to that. Let's go over to um, Silver Pine Forest. We'll do that first thing this morning. And then hopefully it won't take the entire episode. We'll see. Uh, we also want to pick up the quest in the Sepulcher for those guys. So uh, we may have to run down, collect the, um, the missing crate, then run back, and then run back down to Amber Mill and we'll kill the guys there. So... Yeah, let's do that this morning, and then I'll make my way. Then I'll hearth back over to the crossroads, and we'll quest there to the Barrens for a little bit. Because I really want this. I really want this um, robe that it gives us. I was like, hey, there's another mage quest? No, it's donation of wool. Greetings, adventurer. Are you here to Um, learn let's see, we're not gonna do arcane missiles. I don't think I need detect magic. Do I do a flame strike? Maybe we'll do flame strike. Be good. That way if you find a group or if I have a bunch of guys on me, I can quickly pop that out. And let's see. We'll put that. I also need to complete that time quest in the Barrens too. We'll probably do that the next episode because by the time we go over to Silver Pine Forest and back, we're probably not gonna have enough time to do that. And if I'm not mistaken, let's see. Yeah, it's level 14, so we probably want to get at least one more level before we try that. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to go in there and die. I'm not sure how hard that area is. I don't even remember ever doing that quest before. I assume I did, but I don't remember it. Thank you. 
And we definitely want to save our money for level 20 because level 20 we get blink, we get teleport abilities, we get two of those. And those things are expensive. I think they're 20 silver each, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe 30 silver each. And then the only one we can't get, I think, is Undercity. And Undercity is, I think, 30 or 80. It may be 80 silver. But you have to get, you have to be level 30 to get that one. It's the farthest one away. Just like for the Alliance, um, you can pick up Iron Forge and Stormwind at level 20, but you have to wait to level 30 to get Dalaran. It could be, I don't know, it could be Thunder Bluff that we have to wait to level 30. I think it's, I think it's Orgamar and Thunder Bluff you get at 20 on Horde. And then Undercity you have to wait till 30. Do one more water, one more bread. Hold off in the scroll spirit till we get a little closer to our objective. Let's see, I can do two of these. Come on, Zeppelin. You're slow. I don't know why this one takes so long. Oh, nothing. My uh, notch sword sword sold. Nice. So everything we put in the auction house yesterday sold. That's pretty sweet. I didn't think it would. Oh my gosh, come on. This thing is so slow and classic. Excuse me. I'll need to buy some light feathers, too. So I have slow fall. people on Endurotar this morning. Not many. Tell you what, guys, rather than standing here waiting for, you know, wasting our time, I'm going to pause this, and then when I get to a Sepulchre, we'll, pause, we'll turn it back on. So just stand by. And welcome back, guys. We just landed in the Sepulchre. Now, there is one quest I want to pick up here that um, 
we had to collect, I think it's a missing supply crate for these guys. I think it's border crossings, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. What would you ask? As you may know, yeah. the town of Ambermill remains a source of human opposition, mainly through the support they receive from the wizards of Dalaran. It's right here. I don't know what their plan is, but for them to show interest in a backwater village like Ambermill indicates that it must have some greater importance. They've been shipping crates by the wagon from Hillsbrad. Many of those supplies end up at a small camp north of Pyrewood Village. Retrieve the contents of a crate and return them to me. I just checked and I'm the only one in the uh, entire zone right now. Oh, there's a druid. Okay. I was the only one here. Now there's two more. Alright, so here's their camp. Let's see what we can do here. Level 14, okay. Alright, we got dampened magic on. Let's go ahead and stop, pop that off. I'm probably just going to go all fireball on these guys. I know they cast. Alright, if these guys are going to run, I need to hit them with Frostbolt then. I guess I'll do my 1-2 punch. Let's try that. Or 1-2-3 punch, whatever. Oh, there is another one back there. Damn it. Come on. Wasn't ready for you yet. Man, I wish I had a counter spell. Hey, congrats on level of sixty. That's uh We got two gems. There's a supply crate. There's three. I'm gonna stay away from that bear.
Alright, we're halfway there, come on. Oh, we lost a I guess our guild lost a guy. Oh, a rare. Old Vice Jaw. <laughs> nice. I'll sell those on the auction house. Nice. I saw my rare uh, popper, my rare finder didn't even pop up. I mean, he must have spawned right on top of me. I bet that's what happened. Yeah, see, he's over... It shows him over here. Huh. He must have spawned right there where I was standing. Nice, script. I resisted my fire blast. Greater short sword of power. Another auction house item. See if these guys respawned over here. We got four of the four out of six. There's one. That time I decided to go three frost bolts and it worked. That was weird. It didn't even hit me with frost bolt and it still slowed me down. Maybe the animation didn't play. All right, one more. I know there's plenty across the road here. Let's go over there. Nice, there's all six. That was actually fairly quick. I I think the last time I did this on my human mage, it took me a lot longer than that. Well, I was killing Dathias Pillagers in um, Westfall, too. Those guys are tough.
Will be nice when I get blink. Arcane missiles. <clears throat> I don't know how he aggroed. He's level 10. I really wasn't even that close to him either. Hmm. Weird. Okay, back to uh, Undercity. I'll turn this border crossings in. Then back to the Undercity, and then we'll uh, move on from there. What is maps and runes? Is that... Hmm. Oh, that must be this quest. I'm, I'm finished. It is. What now? Maps in this... Pendant, HM? Interesting. It is obvious that the Dalaran wizards are interested in Ambermill for some purpose. He's over here. But still, their aim is hidden to me. Perhaps Dalar will know something of their use. Take the pendant to Dalar Dawnweaver. Perhaps you can shed some light on the wizard's plans. I have received reports that a group of undead are holding up to prepare for an attack against us. Armed with this information, we can... T Interesting more machinations of the Kirin Tor, it would seem. This is a powerful right. artifact. It was used frequently by powerful wizards of the Kirin Tor to channel magical energies. That they are delivering so many to Amber Mill indicates that they must be undergoing a project of some magnitude. I will see if I can pierce their shields and ascertain their intent. Of course! How could I have forgotten? Amber Mill was one of the sites earmarked by the Kirin Tor, noted because it houses a dormant lay energy node. The wizards must be planning to reactivate the node and use its energies for some greater purpose. We cannot allow this to happen. It will take a great amount of power to activate the area's lay energies. We can stall them by taking the pendants away from the wizards. Relay this information to Alistair. He will decide a course of action. Lady Sylvanus has charged Varimathras with the conquering of the human and dwarven... Ill news you bring, adventurer. If Dalar is correct, and I've no reason to believe he isn't, we must move quickly. I must confer with him on our plan of attack. But in the meanwhile, we will have to delay their progress. Dalar is attempting to locate the source of the wizard's spellcasting. For now, we'll have to slow their progress in any way we can. The conjurers, mages, and protectors are no doubt carrying the pendants. Remove and retrieve them. Take the main road south and the eastern fork into Amber Mill. Okay, so I went ahead and let that play out, but we're not going to do those right now. We'll do those later. Uh, I want to get back over to the Barons. Primarily because, like, we got a level 11 quest, so we need to go to um, Ratchet and turn in. Plus, we got more quests and Ratchet to pick up, so I don't want to fill up our quest log with Silver Pine Forest if we're not going to do it right now. So, my plan is to come back later and do it. First thing we're going to do here is we're going to hit up the auction house. We'll put these these items on the auction house and then make our way over to the maze trainer. All right, let's see. Um, Raider short sword of power. Raider short sword of stamina, 20 silver. That sounds good. I'll put it up for like 18. How about that? Tiger's eye. It's not going to sell for much. Yeah, one silver. And Soldier's Boots of Power. There's 
nothing up there. 35 to 50. What level is this? 12? Uh, we'll put it up for 25. There we go. Gotta play the market. Magic quarter. Oh, it's a tailoring shop. It's over here. Oops. I thought it was a mage trainer. <clears throat> right, here you are, Joseph. Or Joseph. I will instruct you when the time is right. That time is not now. You have much more to learn first. This is very good material, and although I lack the talent to gauge the quality of these mana gems, we'll soon know if they possess the power needed spellfire to create Here we go. spellfire robes. Nice, Here I got it. Robes, adventurer. Yay. Good, you've got some grit. I like that. Well then, let's get going. Bye. I'm just a student myself, really. Rhiannon's the expert. She's standing by the crates over there. You can learn a lot from her. I can't do much, but while we're here, we may as well go ahead and level this up a little bit more. I'll do one linen bag. <clears throat> and again, back to the auction house with that. And then we're going to hearth back to the barons. Nice, I like the red, it matches my hair. <laughs> that was way better than what I had on. 34? Yeah, way better. The six intellect on it. So I'm glad I did that quest. Four silver, we'll put it up for three. Three. 75. There we go. Alright, let's hearth back. As the wind on the plains, you are always welcome here. Okay, I think for this episode, let's just work on knocking out some of the smaller or lower level stuff. Uh, we'll make. Let's run over to Ratchet. Let's go ahead and do that, and we'll pick the quest in Ratchet too. <clears throat> because one more level, and I'm going to outlevel this. Yeah, we got plane riders to kill. Let's just let's do that. There's a light feather. Nice. Yeah, let's get on over to Ratchet. Oh, 
Those plane strider beaks do not drop quickly. It's a slow drop rate. Battle chain tunic, another auction house item. <clears throat> These guys run. These fleeting ones. Raptor, you're next on my list. I need to get that fire damage going on them. At least it helps. It helps a little bit. I mean, it's not a ton of damage, but at least it's like one, one or, or six points every six points over six seconds. I think it said. Yeah, so it's like one point of damage every second. So it's not a lot. But you can increase that if you go fire. Let's see, cast time. Ignite, there it is. Critical strikes. Cause your target to, target to burn an additional 8% of your spell's damage. But yeah, we're going frost on this guy. So. I am fire over in uh, Season Discovery. I'm enjoying leveling a Fire Mage there. It's been a long time since I leveled Fire Mage. Even in retail, I play Arcane primarily. And I never played Arcane until I think it was Legion or BFA, and I kind of got hooked on it, and I've gone, I've rolled with it ever since. I really enjoy it. Speak. Well, I'll be. This was one of Chen Stormstout's kegs. He traveled with Rexar a long time ago. I haven't seen or heard about him in a Kodo's age. I appreciate you bringing this to me, adventurer. Would you like a taste of Chen's namesake? Oh, the Storm Stout is a mighty brew. Why does it name? Chen Why does the voice change? recipe to my mentor, and my mentor passed it on to me. I'll need you to get me a few things, but I can tell you this. The kick is worth it. 
Bring me five Savannah Lion tusks from any Savannah Lion, five plane strider changed the gear. from any plane strider, and one thunder lizard horn from any species of thunder lizard. That, that should one. do the trick nicely. You can find these ingredients throughout the barrens. A small enough crate. Yes, I should be able to find room for this aboard the ship. It sails with the next tide. I trust this is soon enough. Excellent. Let me just enter it into my ledger. All taken care of. Good day to you, adventurer. Being wharf master of a busy port like Ratchet, I keep my finger on the pulse of information. I know all about the exchange of goods and money between here and Booty Bay. The latest bit of news I've heard is about the Venture Company's Boulder Load Mine, northeast of the Sludge Fen. One of the miners discovered an emerald the size of your fist. I know a few buyers who'd be interested in getting their hands on something like that, and I'd be willing to go half and half on its sale. The Venture Company set up a small research facility far to the north of here, southwest of the Sludge Fen. I don't know very much about what they're doing, but did manage to discover that they're experimenting with something called a samoflange. Now, what the heck is a samoflange? Well, whatever it is, I want to examine it, so I need someone to go get it. I obtained a copy of their control system operating manual. You should be able to figure out how to disengage the samoflange from it. I sure wish Vice Admiral Greslick did a better job of keeping the seas safe for our trading vessels. With all the gold the trade princes have poured into the trade fleets, it ticks me off to see so many pirates running willy-nilly, raiding my ships and stealing my goods. I heard that the South Sea Freebooters have set up a camp just south of here. They've been a real thorn in my side, and if Greslick won't take care of them, well, maybe you can help me get rid of them. The raptors of the barons are smarter than raptors in other lands, and I think all that smarts is hiding in their horns. If so, then I could grind their horns into powder and use it to make smart drinks. I could sell them for a fortune. And you can help me. Find me intact raptor horns from Sunscale Scythe Claws. They roam in the southern barrens and in the northern barrens near the border of Ashenvale Forest. All right, we're going to kill some pirates here. Because, because I can. And I did not do this quest on our warlock uh, over in Season of Discovery, so we're going to do it now. It's right here next to Ratchet, and I don't know why I didn't do it, but we didn't. So, that's okay. We're gonna do it right now. We need brigands and cannoneers. These guys are ranged. It looks like my son's starting to wake up, so I may have to go here in a moment. We'll see. Try to make it the hour, but he's up looking around. Sitting up looking around. He may go back to sleep, though. His cold has turned into a sickness, so now he's got to run in a fever and all sorts of stuff. So, hope it's just like an ear infection, but rather than like something worse. Ooh, a bag? What did that say? Ceremonial leather bag? Oh, belt. I read it wrong. I was like, I don't see a bag in my inventory.
think the first two hits on the cannoneers need to be uh, fireball and then hit them with frostbolt so that when they run, they're slowed down. Because otherwise they're going to run into something I don't want them to run into, like a camp. I think there used to be quests for like a, a plans or boots or something we had to collect from these guys. I can't remember. Maybe that's the next quest. Let's see if I can pull this cannoneer away from the rest of this group. Now, pulling this camp is going to be tough, though. Let's see if we can find some more. There's a cannoneer over here by himself, or herself. Do the same thing here. I'll oh, say so it does two fire damage over six seconds. <coughs> Excuse me. It says, Fire Blast says 59 to 73. It did 58. Not even the minimal damage. That's really annoying. Last one. Perfect. There's that finished.
Disco Taco. Uh, see, we picked this quest up from Gazlo, so we'll go turn it in there. And my son is definitely awake, so I'm going to have to go here in a moment. He's just chilling right now, but he could have a fever and probably need some medicine if I had to guess. We'll see. <clears throat> Surprised he's up so early because he was up for an hour last night, in the middle of the night, coughing. So you did good, kid. It's really odd that he's A up little more early. work like that, and it'll be one less thing I'll have to worry about. Hopefully, they'll be convinced that they should relocate their operation elsewhere. In the meantime, there is the small matter of getting back the goods they stole from me. Okay. Yeah, here's the. I've been waiting shipment. forever for my last shipment of goods from Booty Bay. I'm pretty sure that it must have been stolen by the freebooters. Just to make sure, you go down to the dockside and ask Dizzywig if my goods were already put into my warehouse without my knowledge? Here, take my ledger down to Dizzywig and have him double-check my inventory records against his log. Ah, uh, Gaslow sent you. Did he? Just a moment. Let me take a look here and check my own logs and make sure I didn't have Gaslow's shipment sent to the wrong place. Bet he's waiting for those boots from Drizzleck. Everything looks square from my records, adventurer. Go on back and tell Gaslow he's out of luck. I wouldn't be surprised if it was the pirates that nabbed his goodies. Nothing else I can do for him. Oh, uh, though you could tell him that I've got some things from Undermine for him when he has the time to come pick them up. No dice. Eh? Yep, shipping a boot. That's what I, I thought. It must have been the freebooters then. Dizzywig's on the level. I'm sure he wouldn't cheat me like that. After all, he is on the payroll. Looks like I've got some goods to get back, adventurer. What do you say? While I'd like to recover all my goods. I'm sure that's not possible. Still, there's a few things that I absolutely must have. As you see, my observatory is ready to go, but it needs the smaller of the two lenses. The first arrived by caravan from Duratar, but the second was bound by ship and never arrived. Also, I never got my boot shipment from Drizzlick in Booty Bay. Head down to the pirate camp and see if you can find them. All right, we'll do that one later because... That one takes some finesse, and I want to get a couple more levels under our belt before we do that. Um, you have to... They're down here. If I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Or no, right here. Let's see. Ratchet, down the coast. Yeah, right here. So you have to... They're in those camps, and you have to clear out the whole camp. And we'll need we'll need um, some more AoE, and we're going to need to be a higher level so we can do a little more damage to them. <clears throat> Okay, let's pop back out here and see if we can kill some plane striders and raptors right outside of uh, right outside of the crossroads here. Yo! What do you have? Anything worth buying? Nope. <laughs> Glad I could help.
I thought about running back from Ratchet a moment ago. That's why I started kind of running through town. And I thought, no, let's just, let's just fly back. There's no point in running all that way. We've got eight minutes. Let's see if we can finish this last bar up and hit 17 here. It's actually been a fairly productive morning. To be honest. enjoying the mage i um like i said i've been playing one in season of discovery and it's they're fun i forgot how much fun they are and my son is definitely awake he's now talking and singing so i will have to go up here in a second but let's 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 ding 17 first and we'll head up he's he's doing okay he's not calling for me or anything Cats all grouped together here. I don't know why it does that. Like sometimes I'll have it have it targeted and then I it like untargets it for some reason. There it is, level 17. Hell yeah. See, it did it again. I was in the middle of casting and it untargeted it. I need to look at this. Hang on, let me, I think I have it on my phone here. I'll look it up later and decide on a talent. I think it's permafrost, if I'm not mistaken. Or frostbite, excuse me, frostbite. Oh man, this guy doesn't give us any XP anymore. I'm glad we went over and did Dizzy Wig because that was a level 11 quest and we would not have been able to do it now. Well, we would be able to do it, we just wouldn't have gotten any XP from it. Let's kill this last one, then we're going to call it an episode.
All right, guys, I really do appreciate you joining me for this episode. I, uh, I'm enjoying playing the mage, and we'll just see how far we get with this uh, in hardcore here. Um, tomorrow, we're going to be back on our Torin Shaman over in Wrath of the Lich King Classic, so join us for that as we level through Outland. And uh, <clears throat> then after that, we're back on our Human Rogue in hardcore. Uh, yeah, I think so. Let's see, the two more, it'll be the six. Yep, so we have a couple more days until uh, the Phase 2 of Season of Discovery launches. Then we'll be back on our Undead Warlock, so... Uh, probably be, like I said, Shaman, Rogue, and then back on the Warlock. So, yeah, join us for that, guys. And until we meet again, hope everyone has a great day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We'll see you next time.